Hello guys, today we will be going over central tendency and the best measure of central tendency. Central tendency is just the central or typical value for a data set, value that is the most representative of a data set. So if I have this data set over here, we use these three things to uh, calculate our central tendency, which is our mean, our median, and our mode. If you're not familiar with these terms, I encourage you to watch our previous video where we discussed them. So our mean would just be over here because this distribution is perfectly symmetrical. It is called a normal distribution. Our median will also occur in the exact same place. And obviously, so will our mode because this is the most common point. So in this case, all three are equally good for using a central for central tendency. And this is called a normal, a normal distribution. Now we have this distribution over here, which is a bit skewed, as you can see. It's actually negatively skewed because our this point has now been moved to the left. So all this data is now going to do something a little bit more like this. So we get more data points on the left side of our data set and fewer on the right. So this is negatively skewed, negatively skewed. And in this case, our mode would be over here. Our mean would kind of over account for the values on the left side. So our mean would actually end up somewhere over here. And our median would actually be most representative of this data set because we have to account for these left values, but we cannot over account. So our median is the best. So for this case, we have median. For this one, we did just have all three. Now over here, we also see a similar sort of thing, but not quite the same. So we go down. So we get this skew as well. But this time, this part of our the tippy top, the vertex of our curve has just been moved to the left. So now we get more data on the, sorry that this is a bit hard to see, on the right side. So in this case, we're getting more data on this side. So this is actually positively skewed. And in this case, once again, the mean is the the median is the best measure because it represents this data set the most. It'll take into account these values on the right side, but it will not over account for them like the mean would. So our mean, once again, will probably end up somewhere a bit too far to the right. Our median will be just right. So over here, most representative and our mode will be just here, which does not take into account at all for all of this um, extra values on the right. So that's why our median is the most correct. So once again, we have median. Now over here, we have what is your favorite beverage? Water, coffee, tea, milk. So in this case, this is called qualitative data. So we don't have a value pair. We just have a word matching to a value, right? So now, in this case, just the value which is just most representative is just 23. If we just pick a random person and we ask them, what is your favorite beverage? Based on this data set, the most likely outcome is to just get 23. And that is just simply the mode. So in this case, it is just the mode is the best measure of central tendency. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and goodbye.